How's it going everyone? In this video I want to take a look at the new PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games that are dropping this week. Pretty quiet week in terms of major releases. Do note that things are going to start heating up at the end of this month and as we head into September, the fall gaming months. Honestly speaking, this fall doesn't look as packed as some of the other falls but hopefully we'll get some more confirmations as things roll on but that's for next month and later this month let's first check out what's coming out this week and starting things off probably the most notable game based on the fact that it is going to be a playstation plus quote unquote freebie it is hunters arena legends a brand new battle royale title that i think is going to pique some people's interest we did our own video on this covering this game entirely if you want to check that out feel free but to put it short hunters arena is a 30 player pvp and pve combat based Base battle royale set in ancient Asia. Survive and become the deadliest hunter in the world of Hunter's Arena. Now, this is a game with a very, very good technical presentation. The visuals look rock solid on this one, and it will be available on both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. And there's a couple things to note. While you might see this off the top as a battle royale title, it's got a lot of elements that are quite a bit different. It's got a idea of a fighting game mixed in there as well, and actually you have a mode that's a straight up fighting uh, game mode instead of being a traditional battle royale it's got pvp and pve elements you've got three different game modes to pick from as well so there's a little bit of variety in the content and then of course you've got a plethora of different hunters which is going to add a layer to the game's gameplay and which hunter you play as is going to give you a distinct different feel depending on you know if you want to go range melee all that good stuff i do know some people are disappointed about this game as a plus title and i'm not gonna you know try to sway your opinion one way or the other on that i know some of you guys just see a battle royale and you immediately grow own but this is a multiplayer focus game the fact that it is a plus title is going to ensure that at least initially it is going to have a healthy player base right out of the gate so that is something that i think is really good and they definitely um did the smart thing there because a lot of these battle royale games they come out maybe fun for a week or so have a nice community for a week or so and then they just fall off a freaking cliff this is hunters arena legends opportunity to drop let's see if people get into it let's see if people get invested and we can go from there the game is in early access on PC. It got a mixed reception, 840 user reviews. 63% of those reviews are positive, so hopefully the full release sees a bit of a better reception. Nevertheless, again, that is out this week on August the 3rd. Tomorrow, in fact. Crucial in achieving victory. There is so much more to experience in this fascinating world. I can't wait for you to encounter the countless dangers waiting in Hunter's Arena when it launches next month on PS4 and PS5. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you all soon on Hunter's Arena. Next up, we have The Falconeer. The Falconeer is a game that has been around for a little bit on PC, going back to November of 2020. This was uh, published by Wired Production, and it notes, Soar through the skies above a majestic warboard, uh, warbird, excuse me, explore a stunning oceanic world, and engage in epic aerial dogfights in this BAFTA-nominated air combat game from solo developer Thomas Sala. Now, this game on PC got a very positive reception, 80% positive across 125 user reviews, and now it will be coming to PlayStation. 4 as well as PlayStation 5. It'll also become the Nintendo Switch, in fact. So this is going to be a game that I don't know if people are going to be jumping out of their seats to buy day one at the $29.99 price tag, but maybe down the line, if you are into, you know, these aerial action titles, uh, Falconeer might be something worthwhile to check out. Again, it will be dropping on August the 5th, so this one is coming this coming Thursday. And unfortunately in this world, they are the ones who decide. Behind those walls. Out of sight. But what for the leaves of lost souls under the shadowy deep? All right, next up, we have a pretty quirky little title, Dodgeball Academia. Dodgeball Academia is a sports RPG game featuring rookie dodgeball student Otto. Join Otto and an eccentric cast of characters as they try to dominate on and off the courts of the Academia. Now, yes, maybe this is something that's a little bit wacky right at the start of things, but I always like interesting, um, you know ways to present an rpg like i always go back to south park the stick of truth as an interesting rpg because when that game got announced the idea of a south park rpg was something i just couldn't comprehend and 
That's why I've become a little bit more open to any style of RPG and Dodgeball Academia. I think it could be a game that surprises a lot of people. The game's key features note, explore and uncover the secrets of the Dodgeball Academia across its vast, diverse, and full of life campus. Journey through a full-blown RPG story mode, complete with episodes, main quests, side quests, and school minigames. Unlock and upgrade unique characters, diversifying your Dodgeball team through an RPG-style character and party progression. Engage in action-packed Dodgeball matches featuring a unique fighting game style that will put you up against challenging enemies and bosses. Duke it out with a friend locally in a competitive local versus mode. So you got that to play around with if you do want, you know, local multiplayer, that is going to be an option as well. Again, maybe not a game everybody's going to be rushing out to buy day one, but I thought I would, uh, you know, point some attention towards this game. Dodgeball RPG sounds pretty quirky, and maybe it deserves a little bit more buzz around it. Finally, I've made it. My time is now. I will become the best player this school has ever seen. Dodgeball Academia, here I come! And that is going to wrap up this one. Again, a pretty light week in terms of new game release. I think Hunter's Arena Legends is going to have the most attention, especially with it being a plus title. I think people are just going to give it a go just on that fact alone. There are a couple of other games coming out on PC and uh, Nintendo Switch. You got Bless Unleashed, a free MMO that is dropping later this week. So that might be something you want to check out if you have a PC capable of running the game. But yes, a pretty quiet week as we do head into the latter portion of the year. It is going to get a lot better. Later this month, you got Hades coming out on PlayStation. PlayStation 5, you got Naraka Blade Point, Foreclosed, um, Humankind is coming to PC. You've got a lot of good stuff coming in the next few weeks. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, King's Bounty 2, Psychonauts 2 is dropping as well, Lone Echo 2, Aliens Fire Team Elite. So a lot of good stuff in the latter portion of this month. But for the first week, a little bit quiet, but things should be heating up very, very shortly. Um, that's going to wrap up this one. Definitely do sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you picking anything up this week? Let me know. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.